Elizabeth with Twinkie TV and we're here to do another recap of Sly and Single again, otherwise known as Conniving Woman. And we are going to be talking about episode number three. So after last week's episode of the huge ordeal that Ella's brother put her through by taking the alimony money and then having that taken away by the thugs that he stole from you know years ago was just such a huge blow to her ego. And I got to admit that Ella has a big ego. So Ella talks with Jungwoo and she's so offended about even the last time they interacted because she's... She was basically saying, you know, you gave my brother the alimony money, but it wasn't even about the money. It was more like, I want you to apologize. I want you to say you're sorry for what you put me through, which she basically put her through years of kind of like slow torture, very hard, sh hard working hardship. And he never even really acknowledged it. Like he went off. So to exact her revenge on Jungwoo, she decides to take part of a marketing internship at his company. And of course, she goes in for an interview and Yojin's brother, her little brother Sung Hoon, is also interviewing because he was caught by Director Oh and he put the application in. So one person really wants to get this internship because she wants revenge on the CEO ex-husband. The other person's forced into it because it's a family business and he's kind of been running away from responsibilities, but now he finally has to live up to some expectations that the family has of him. Jungle wants nothing to do with Era in his company, doesn't want to see her again, so when the, he sees her interviewing, like right after the interview, he basically says, you know, there's no way that I'm going to let you work for my company, and she's kind of like, really adamantly wanting to work and she said I'll, I'll kneel down and beg but as she's trying to kneel down one of her legs just won't kneel they won't kneel she's like hitting them but she's so full of pride that she doesn't kneel and so he just kind of walks off and laughs because he knew that she had so much pride that she wouldn't kneel Little did he know that she was on a reality show until his secretary or assistant was watching the show and Pretty much, Era, he sees a scene where Era's like, you know, I hope I never meet anybody like my ex-husband. You know, she was crying miser in misery. And so right then and there, he wants his petty revenge. And so he puts her in the pile to be hired so that way he can exact his revenge. So it's ex-husband, ex-wife, just like revenge after revenge after revenge. So just to get a little bit of insight from Era's point of view, I can see where she's coming as the very, trying to be strategic. So she's strategic in trying to marry Jungwoo because her mother told her that he's gonna be a hardworking man. One day he'll be a very good supportive husband and father to the children because the father and brother in her family, they're basically moochers, leeches, living off of both of the mother and Era's hard work. So I can see where she com comes from there. Where I don't get is where she got that really bad temper. I mean, she's like, she goes off on Jungwoo, she goes off on her best friends, and you know, they have good intentions, but because she has such a fast temper, like, there's like no stopping her. She even gets mad at the guy with the chicken and she throws the chicken at the other Ajishi where she gets sent to jail. So definitely Eda needs to get a little bit of a handle on that temper of hers. And then at that time, the water cooler guy comes by and swipes her ID. And you know, they should just play some ominous music during that time because you know something bad is gonna happen because there was already a scene with Jungwoo racing back to the company to do clean up some matter with security breach. So I have a feeling that something to do with that uh, security swipe card, Etta, and her getting into some big hot water soon, it's definitely, definitely gonna happen. So that night they have a heshik, which I think is a company dinner, and so Etta and her whole team go, and then during this company dinner, the co-workers are gossiping about Jungwoo because Jungwoo is so attractive and he's the CEO and he's so, like, so, everybody's so enamored by him. And they're like, trying to figure out why the ex-wife is no longer in the picture. And so one person says, oh, it's because she cheated, she was a gambler, she was a drunk. This totally sets off the quick-tempered Edda. So she drinks and drinks and drinks and then Yojin's little brother, 
he tries to help her because she's like yelling at this one like air air dude uh kind of funny little cartoon character she's yelling at him and yelling at him because she thinks it's jungu but finally you know she's like just go home i'm gonna go home then you see her heading towards the company building and like yelling at the building because she's still mad so the next day the next day Eda gets called into the security office because it was her card that was swiped in and very um, important top secret information was stolen and they figure that she did it. This whole episode number three goes into episode four and I really enjoyed it so let me know what your thoughts are on episode three and we can kind of walk through episode four together. Talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.